You're making really great progress now. You understand custom objects, you're creating them from scratch, and you're setting up relationships. You're a data organizing animal. Now I'm going to give you a quick tour of some of the features that are available to you. Start by creating a new pet record. Click Add New Pet and name it Fluffy. And wait a minute, you'll still need additional fields for the pet records like pet type, breed, sex, birthday, and so on. But it's no problem because you already know how to create new fields. So just go to your settings here, click on the field editor, and suddenly you're right at home. I'll spare you the creation of all these fields and just fast forward so you can get back to your Fluffy record and see that you have all the fields you wanted. We can see that Fluffy is a male cat, born in 2017, and you also have the owner field, so click on that to see a list of contacts. But of course, you have a ton of contacts, and you can't scroll through them all in a drop-down field. So if you just type MOI, Moira Rose should appear. Go ahead and select Moira Rose. And that's all there is to it. I can take notes about Fluffy, see Fluffy's contact info, and more. But there's an important little trick to know about. You can see that Moira's name here is in a different color, right? That's to indicate that the field is a related object field, and that the name isn't really a part of Fluffy's record. It's part of Moira's record. If I went over to Moira's record and changed her name to Johnny, it would get automatically updated here. If you head over to Moira's name, this little arrow icon will appear. If you click on that, it'll take you to Moira's record. Otherwise, you'd have to go all the way back to your contacts collection, click on contacts, and then search for Moira manually. If you scroll down through Moira's record a bit, you'll find the subcollection of pets that was created when you made the relationship between pets and contacts. But where's Fluffy? Well, Fluffy's actually right here, but you can't tell yet because you haven't set it up just yet. When you first created this relationship, the system didn't know what fields you wanted to see here. So it just puts some basic stuff like IDs. But you can tweak this in a couple of seconds to make it just the way you want. Click on the columns icon here and delete those nonsense fields. Then we'll add pet name, type, breed, sex, and birthday. You can drag them around so they're in whatever order you'd like, and then save your work and you're done. And now there's Fluffy and Fluffy's basic info. And if Moira ever gets a dog, you can actually add new pets here too. If the dog record already exists, you can search for it here. To go back to Fluffy's record, click on Fluffy's name. Don't forget that you have a beautiful quick view tool that's really handy. You can get to that by clicking on the little contact card icon next to Fluffy's name. You'll want to set up some basic fields in the middle section here, like the owner. And to the right, you can see that you have some related records. If you click on Moira's name here, you'll be taken to her quick view, where you'll see her pets on the right side of the screen. Moving right along, the next couple of things I want to show you are about messaging. When you created this relationship, you unlocked some neat features for communicating with groups of people and even automating your communication. So let's imagine that you want to fire off an email to Moira about her cat. That's pretty easy. You click on Moira's record, click email, and you're off to the races. But what if you want to send out a special birthday gift for all the cats who have birthdays this month? Maybe a free cat wash for those birthday cats. Because you've organized your data so nicely, and because you're using Entreport, this is actually a piece of cake. Here's a simple birthday automation that sends emails based on the pet's birthdays. Since this is an automation in the pet's object, you'd expect this email element to send the email to the pet. But of course, pets don't have emails, so let me show you what you'll do. Let's edit the email that you're sending here, and you'll see that you have a field called Send to Email. When you select this, you'll see all the email address fields in the pet record, and in this case, there aren't any. So you'll need to find a record related to your pets that does have an email address. In this case, you'll see an option right here for the pet owner's email, which is exactly who you want to send this email to. So now, when you send this email, it'll go to the owner of each birthday cat. And that's it for the grand tour of your new custom object. But of course, there's so much more to learn. One of the most important things that you'll need to know about Entreport is that there's one particular object that is very different from all the others. I'll talk about it more in the next video. The special object, contacts.